All right, in this video, I'm going to show you one example on how to solve integration using trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rules. In my previous example, I actually have provided you with the x and the, uh, the formula of the function. And then your job is to come up with the function values and just substitute into the equation. But usually the case is you will be provided with a set of data already for you with all the x values and the fx values. And your job is just to use or apply all the integral methods that you have learned before, trapezoidal rule, Simpson's rule, one third or three over eight, to come up with the integral. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to check the space between the data points. Are they equispaced or not? Adakah data ini uh, mempunyai jarak yang sama ataupun step size yang sama? So in this case, for the x, okay, so for that, you have to look for the, at, at the x data. The step size, look at the x data. So taburan dia, the step size is the same, which is 2.0. So of course, you can use multiple application of trapezoidal rule for the first part. And this is the formula for the multiple trapezoidal. Okay, let's look how you're going to solve this for the a part i integral equals to b minus a. So what is b here? a is negative 2, b is 10. So what is fx naught? fx naught here is the first point for the a lah, which is 35. Okay? So just fill this up. b 10 minus a is negative 2. And then in the bracket, you have fx0. fx0 is 35, which is this one. This is x0 or the a. So 35 plus 2. Here, 2. And then the summation of everything in the middle. Everything in the middle, meaning all the data points in the middle. So which is 5 uh, plus negative 10 plus 2 plus 5 and plus 3. Okay, so uh, 5. Uh, plus plus negative 10 um, I, I just kind of put like negative 10 lah. so plus and minus will definitely minus uh, will be will win all right so 5 negative 10 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 okay then plus the last one which is 20 for fx and 20 divided by 2 and 2. So n here is the number of segments. So how many segments you have in this data points? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 segments. So n equals to 6. And here is number of segments. Not number of points here, yeah? number of segments. So solving this, you will get uh, the answer as 65. So please try this on your own. So next, we're going to solve for the second part, which is Simpson's rules. Okay. So Simpson's rules, we have three types, which is Simpson's single uh, one-third or multiple application of one over three or three over eight. And looking at this data point, they are all equispaced. So we have no problem. And uh, you know that Okay, how, how many points we have here? We have seven points and six segments. So if, still, if you still remember my note, if we have odd points and even segments, we can use the multiple application of trapezoidal rule or Simpson's one, one third. Lah. Because Simpson's one third, you need um, three points with two segments. So one, two, three, you will get one Simpsons one third, and then one, two, three, you get one other Simpsons one over third, and then one, two, three, you get the last. Right. So this is so this. Uh, what I mean just now is this one is you have one single one third, and then another one one two three. This another single one third, and then this one 
another single one third okay so don't forget that when when um for the first the second and the third point you will use the, the single one third and then for the next calculation you still need to use the point that uh, the one that you you stop at so please do not proceed at four because you need to take into account these segments here between two and four and then the next calculation you stop at six all right so the next calculation you have to begin with that at the point where you stop which is six not eight okay so that's why we have three one over three so you can use the single uh, sorry the multiple application of one over three okay so here n is six and just plug in the integral all right so b minus a is uh, 10 minus negative 2 is the same as before and then this in the bracket fx naught is 35 so if you look at here the first point is this this is the first point second point third point fourth point fifth point so what is the odd points here Odd points is this, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have uh, 0, 4, and 6. And the even points is 2, oh sorry, not 6, this is 8, okay? 2, 6. 2 and 6 they are the even points so you can just substitute all the their responding or corresponding effects into the this, this table so this is 35 plus 4 all the effects of the odd points which is um, 0 4 and 6 0 is 5 2 or oh, this is not 6 this is 8 5 2 and 3 5 plus 2 plus 3 and then plus the even points so the even points is 2 and 6 negative 10 and 5 okay and then plus the last point which is 20 this one 20 divided oh sorry sorry guys divided by 3n so chomot sikit ya n is the number of segments which is uh, 6 and solving this you will get the answer as 56.6667 there you go so here again these are for the odd points and this is for the even points